guys, so this is the deck of cards I got, well, the brick of cards I got from 311. Uh, if you want to check out the video I did in order to win these cards, I'll put it in the link in the description. But they had me pick 10 cards. They gave me two cards specifically for Valentine's Day. And uh, I really enjoy this carrying case for the cards. It really looks cool. I like it. It's very, very minimal, but I do like the, uh, the matte finish on it. So it is 12 decks. Uh, it's around $120 of decks in here. But if you go online to theory11.com, you can get your own brick for $99. So uh, let's show you the side. So it does have 311 on the side, which is really cool. I really enjoy that. Other side also has the Theory 11. Bottom says Theory 11 on it. And both sides say playing cards. So here are the cards. Uh, I did pick them based on what I like. I know there's some people that really just kind of go for like feel. Uh, this was kind of different because I've always wanted the Love Me deck and that was the two that were automatically going to come with the uh, contest. So these are the automatically two and the, if I can get it out, there we go. So the Love Me deck, so we got two of these. Uh, I really enjoy the look of these. Also comment below which uh, I should do a deck review for, but Love Me, I always enjoyed these. Really cool, very, very like street artists kind of feel to them. So I got two of those. I am a huge fan of late night, so I am a, uh, I went to media school to be like a personality on the radio, and I actually wanted to be a weatherman. But uh, I really enjoyed watching late night, so I did end up getting the Jimmy Fallon playing cards. So these are really interesting. Also been trying to get on Jimmy Fallon. I've been wanting to do magic on Jimmy Fallon since I was younger. So that and I've always wanted to be on SNL. So those are two things I've always wanted to do in my life. And uh, I really enjoy these cards. They look really cool. Hopefully I can use these on Fallon one day. Oh, let's see here. So navigators. Now I'm a fan of keepers. And this kind of reminded me of keepers in a bit. But I like the the gold look of it. I don't know why every time I see like, you know, a wheel, I think of Long John and Silvers. I have no idea why. I mean, obviously it's a seafood restaurant, but I honestly, that was one of the things of why I got this. I was like, it reminds me of Keepers and it looks like Long John Silvers. So, Navigators. Uh, I'm a huge fan of horror and kind of like murder mystery stuff like serial killers so um, I really like how downtown LA has a lot of kind of murder mystery to it and this deck kind of reminds me of it so that's kind of the reason why I got this one so this is the Hollywood Roosevelt it reminds me of kind of like the crazy you know if you ever watch American Horror Story they had one called Hotel and obviously from looking at the back you can kind of see how it has that old hotel look of like how American Horror Story would be like. So I really like how these look. Again guys, comment below which ones you would like to see as a deck review. I might do all of them as a deck review, uh, but this is just kind of like a run through of what I got. Plus it, I want to see more and more people on the Saturday night contests because they're really fun and it's really cool to just kind of work together as magicians, or if you're just an aspiring magician yourself and you want to try some out, you know, give it a try. You know, you can win a bunch of cards. Uh, let's do this, okay? So I'm going to get rid of this one in here because this is in the middle. But I'm a huge James Bond fan. I grew up watching James Bond. Uh, so I had to get the 007 cards. These look really cool. They have the Union Jack on the back, plus the crest for the Secret Service. But really enjoy these. I like the gold. I always like gold cards. They look so appealing, especially when you're holding them. It's like, wow. And then uh, I had to get all four of these because I'm a huge fan of it. 
I love, love, love Star Wars. So we have the silver, which is the dark side version. We have the red dark side. So those go together. And then we have the light side of the force. We have the blue and the white. So I'm a huge Star Wars fan too. So if you ever want to nerd out with Star Wars, hit me up. And then the final two are the Hudsons. So we have the original Hudson and the black Hudson. I really enjoy how these look. They're very old fashioned -y. kind of remind me of like Ernay's like age, but really want to open these ones and check them out and probably perform with these ones. A lot of these are probably going to just be collectors, but these ones I'm going to perform for. But comment below what your favorite deck was. Be sure to give this a like and subscribe. I want to do more and more. And, you know, this year has been very rough, but I'm getting back on my feet. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you want more deck reviews? Do you want more magic? But let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to get your own brick of playing cards. And see you soon. Take care. Just hold tight, we're up at the moon.